Welcome to Among Us, a game about using deductive reasoning, deception, trust, Aww. and of course, betrayal. Betrayed. Now, for those of you that have been living under a rock for the past few months and haven't heard of the game, this video is for you in case you want to enjoy some Among Us content and or play it. Let's start out with the objective of the game. Now, when you load into the game, you can either be crewmate or imposter. Playing as crewmate has two win conditions. You and your crew can either finish all of your tasks around the ship, or you can find out who the imposters are and vote them off. Just be careful not to vote off any innocent people. If you load into the game as imposter, your goal is to kill everybody until there are an equal amount of imposters and crewmates, or you can win off of a reactor or oxygen sabotage. Tasks are little puzzles you have to do around the map. Now you can open your map by pressing tab and you can see little exclamation points around the map that show you where your tasks are. All of these tasks are simple puzzles that you should be able to figure out fairly quickly. When you load into a lobby, you may notice there is a setting called visual tasks. It's important to note that imposters cannot do tasks. So with visual tasks on, if you see somebody doing a visual task, you know that they cannot be the imposter. For example, when you are shooting asteroids, if you notice in the bottom right, the gun will be shooting. If you have visual tasks on, other crewmates will be able to see this gun shooting and know that you cannot be the imposter because you are doing a task. The same goes for shields because in the bottom right, when you are done with the shields task, it will light up. The same goes for the trash task because you'll see at the bottom of the ship the trash will fly out. Now the best visual task is medbay because only one person can scan at a time. Remember I only went over the visual tasks on Skeld, not the other two maps. You should get well acquainted with those visual tasks as well and remember that there is medbay on every single map. If visual tasks are disabled, you will be able to see yourself do the visual task but you cannot see other people do the visual task. Now since this is just the basics, I will briefly go over something called common tasks. Now all you need to know is that common tasks is a task that everybody has. This is more important for if you are playing the imposter, but if everybody has a task, the imposter needs to know which are the common tasks so that they know to fake those tasks. If you look at the top left of your task menu, those will be the common tasks for the round. An example of a common task is the card swipe in admin. If one person has it, Everybody has to have it. Now let's talk about imposter sabotages. Imposters can sabotage things around the map, which makes it harder for the crew. They can sabotage lights, reactor, oxygen, communications, and doors. Sabotaging lights will lower the crew vision, but the imposter can still see as if the lights never turned off. It's also important to know that while imposters cannot do actual tasks, they can fix any sabotages. Imposters can also sabotage oxygen. This is a critical sabotage because if the crewmates fail to fix it, the imposters will win the game. All the crew has to do is type in two codes at the oxygen panels. One is located in the oxygen room on the top right of the ship. One is located in the admin room in the middle of the ship. Sabotaging the reactor is another critical sabotage. All the crew has to do is go to one of the hand scan locations and have another crewmate go to the other hand scan location. They have to be scanning at the same time to fix the reactor. If there is not, the reactor will count down and the crew will lose the game. Oh shit! Oh, oh Lord Jesus! Oh Jesus! Get the water, nigga! Jesus Christ! Sabotaging communications will make it so that the crew cannot see what tasks they need to do. They will also be unable to see the progress bar at the top to see if people are completing tasks. It will also mess with things like cameras, vitals, or door locks. I feel like this is the most underrated sabotage and I will put in future video how this sabotage can help you. But honestly, if you're a new player, you're probably not going to use this one. It's more for very niche situations. Now the last type of sabotage is to sabotage doors. When you sabotage doors to a room, it will block off all the entrances to that room. Nobody can enter or exit until the doors open again. It will usually take a couple of seconds. You can also sabotage doors across the map or to any room that has the closed doors option. This is great for keeping crewmates separated, wasting their time, 
and just overall annoying people or putting the suspicion on somebody else. The important thing to remember about sabotages is you cannot close doors during an emergency and that you share your sabotage with your teammate. So if you sabotage oxygen, that uses your teammate's sabotage as well. You can also sabotage while dead, but it is generally a bad idea to do that because your teammate might have a plan to sabotage oxygen, and if you sabotage reactor, that's going to mess up their plan. Another thing is that meetings cannot be called during sabotages. So if you know people are going to press the button and vote you off, you might as well sabotage and kill somebody. That way you can get another person off before you get voted out. Let's talk about vents really quickly. Imposters can use vents to get around the map quickly. Only imposters can use vents, so if you ever see somebody vent, you should definitely press the button and vote them out. If you're an imposter and somebody sees you vent, you better kill them before they press the button. Vents only connect to certain rooms, except on Mira B where all vents connect. Voting is a huge part of the game for imposters and for crew. If you're an imposter, you can try to get an innocent person voted off, which is just a free kill for you. If you're crew, you want to get the imposters voted out, that way you can slowly narrow it down and try to win the game off of that. If there is no hard evidence on who to vote, here's a good rule of thumb that you should follow. You should not vote if there are 7 people left and 2 imposters, or 4 people left and 1 imposter left. You have to vote if there are 6 people left and 2 imposters, and obviously if there are 3 people left and 1 imposter. There are rare situations where these rules do not apply, but for the basics you should follow these. The reason is for 7 people, if you do not know who the imposters are, if you vote somebody off incorrectly, the 2 imposters can double kill and win. If there are 6 people left and 2 imposters left, if you skip, both imposters will double kill and win. If there are 4 people left and you vote incorrectly, the imposter just kills and wins the game. It's a good idea to stick to these rules as imposter as well because A it'll make you look less suspicious, B you might be able to vote off a innocent person instead and win the game either way, or it'll prevent you from being voted off. Also remember that even though you're dead you can still help your team by doing tasks. Nothing's worse than waiting on a ghost to do a task and the crew not being able to win because of it. And that is the basic guide to Among Us. I plan on uploading a few more videos to help you do better in Among Us involving the crew, the imposter, and some advanced tactics. So watch out for those coming up, and if there's anything I missed in this video, feel free to comment it and I will leave it in a pinned comment. Thank you all for watching.